A Flower Mound couple is living now with a shattered sense of security. A man in a hood and wearing a mask sneaked into their home. The woman living there saw him and at first she thought she'd gotten rid right. of him. Instead, that's when the true terror really began. Fox 4's Brandon Todd spoke with the victims and joins us live from Flower Mound. Brandon. Well, exactly. Amy Allen, uh, this is uh, late Monday night, was up from a Rangers game. She had just gotten home. It was late. She couldn't sleep. She was kind of in and out of the back door working on her sprinkler system when she was walking through her house, noticed her alarm keypad had a warning on it that a door was open. So I stepped toward the back door. I saw it was Amy wide. Allen, who asked us not to show her face, never dreamed that in the span of about 30 seconds, a young man quietly slipped in the back door of her house on Conroe Court. As I stepped in the kitchen, I saw him standing at the dishwasher. He had his back to me. As I, I, it didn't take me very long to figure out it wasn't my husband and it wasn't my son. And I screamed, hey, really loud. And he turned around and faced me for a second. The intruder took off, and so did she. When I hit him, I was running full force. And we just fought all the way to the back door. And he had a, a rum bottle from my kitchen counter in his left hand that he obviously was hitting my arm with. The burglar threw the rum bottle, apparently trying to hit her. It smashed against the wall. I got him out the door, and as he hit the moonlight, I saw that he had a white mask on that was really terrifying. She closed the door and locked it. But what happened next is what really terrified her. He banged on the door three times, and the third time he hit the door, it exploded in, and he came in right after. And so we started really fighting, kicking, hitting both of us. That's when her husband woke up. I heard screaming and then I heard what sounded like an explosion. I came out of the bedroom and looked and saw my wife and a, and a figure that she was, looked like she was fighting with and I flipped the light switch on and hollered, what's going on? The couple says that's when the man ran toward the front door and she was right on his tail. And I was pounding on his back and screaming at him and he took off up the street and I slammed the door, locked it, and we called 911. Allen says the intruder didn't show a weapon and didn't steal anything, but her husband says he got plenty. What he took from us was our sense of security in our own home. Allen's wife says the hoodie and mask signified to her he had intent to break in, but coming back in the house signified violence. And he scared me when he came back in the door. That made no sense to me. So then I was fighting to win, not fighting to get him outside. I gave him an out. I, I got him out of the house. I don't understand. He should have run, and he didn't. Now again, as uh, she said, he was wearing a mask, so getting a good uh, facial description uh, was nearly impossible. Also, Heather, you heard say, her say that he took off. She didn't see him get into any vehicle, so uh, police also don't have a vehicle description in this case either. Boy, Heather. what a story, Brandon. I can't imagine what she was thinking when she's doing all this. It's, it's incredible. But let me ask you, did police or this couple, do they think that the motive was something other than burglary? Right, and it's unclear exactly what the motive was, and she suspects that it was was not burglary, uh, simply because he did come back into the house. She suspects that he may have thought she was alone, and that's why he came back in and continued to fight with her. And as she said, when her husband turned on the light, he took off running. But of course, Heather, if the motive was violence and not necessarily burglary, that does add a whole nother level of concern with this investigation. How frightening for them. Okay, Brandon, we appreciate it. Thank you.